Build shows on the road today. Coming to you from Lafayette, Louisiana, where we're visiting a house under construction with some standards that I think builders from across the nation could learn from. You know, if you're building a house in Louisiana, you know that every fall the hurricane season comes, which brings with it high rains and serious winds. And on the Build Show, we're gonna talk about one key to resiliency. You know, especially if you're in the Gulf Coast, but really anywhere, this is not a luxury, this is a necessity. Today's Build Show is sponsored by Huber Engineered Woods. Let's get going. Hey guys, let me introduce you to Isaac Scott with Claire Homes. You know, Isaac, you've lived here your whole life, right? What's the problem with houses in this part of the world when there's hurricanes up? Well, Matt, the biggest problem is really your roof. Your roof is your first line of defense yeah. if, of your home. And so if your roof comes off during a category two or three or four or worse hurricane, then what happens is water enters into the home. Mm -hmm. It damages the insulation and the sheetrock and all your personal belongings inside the house. So if we can make our roofs our first line of defense mm -hmm. by using a sealed roof deck uh, or by doing a fortified roof like this house here, then you can really mitigate the chances of uh, really upending your your world if yeah. a hurricane does pass through. Let me expand on that a little bit because that's actually an issue even for us down in Texas quite a bit. And I'm, I'm not coastal at all, I'm way inland. But you know when those high winds come, if it's 60, 70, 80 mile an hour winds, that wind gets up underneath your shingles, rips the shingles off, and you know what happens when the shingles come off? The underlayment comes with it, and now you've got, let's say, bare OSB or bare plywood on the roof. And in that wind and rainstorm, that means that all that water that's dumping onto that bare plywood, everywhere you've got a seam is just absolutely pouring into the house. And the roof might still be intact, meaning it won't blow off necessarily, but all that water coming through just makes a horrendous amount of a very expensive damage. You basically end up flooding your house. Your ceiling caves in, all your insulations over all your stuff, everything's wet this product right here, which is relatively new from Huber Engineered Woods. This is Zip System Peel and Stick Underlayment. They make this in two flavors. They've got a standard temperature and an HT, a high temp. Mm. Uh, you're definitely hot. It's 90 degrees here in the fall yes, sir. <laughs> outside. And if you're not familiar with this, a lot of Northern builders uh, are familiar with these full peel and sticks. Mm. We'll use this for ice protection uh, in the North. You know, we're, we're making sure that if ice happens, uh, you know, we've got a cold day and then a sunny day. That nighttime freeze of that ice will actually back that water up underneath the shingles. And a full peel and stick like this gives you protection from ice damming. However, down here in the south, this is giving Isaac extreme protection against that blow off situation that we were talking about. Now, a couple things I like about this product in particular is I can barely pull my finger off it is it's incredibly sticky. It is a different adhesive technology though. If you're if familiar with zip system tape like I've used in a lot of my builds, including my personal house. That's an acrylic adhesive, which needs a roller to actually wet the acrylic into the surface. So Isaac's guys, when they were framing, they actually rolled all this tape. This, however, is a real thick gooey. This is like 30 mils of adhesive, a 40 mil thick product that's asphaltic. The beauty of that is it actually wets with the heat and we don't need to roll it. It'd be really hard to roll the roof, right? So this uses the heat to actually kind of wet into the substrate below. The other nice benefit of having that real thickness, Isaac, mm -hmm. is it does a lot of nail sealing, right? There's yes. a lot of nail sealability because we've got that really gooey adhesive on the backside. And the high temperature version that Isaac's got here will go up to 260 degrees. The regular version that you might use up in the north, I believe it's 180 degrees. So you actually have quite a bit of high temp uh, ability here. Isaac, what's underneath that peel and stick? Because I didn't get a chance to see the job prior to today. Yeah, absolutely, Matt. So underneath the peel and stick is a 5 eighths inch roof decking. Okay. It's the, the zip system roof decking. So it's, it's the brown zips it's underneath It's the brown there. zip, that's Okay, right. gotcha. Yep, and it's, uh, it's nailed every four inches with a two and three eighth inch ring shank nail. That's okay. the fortified requirement. Gotcha, so you've really, that thing's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Gotcha, and um, then you've taped all those seams first, I'm assuming before you put this on too, right? That's right, all the seams are taped even underneath the peel and stick underlayment. So you really have two layers of, you really have three layers of protection <laughs> with the. That's awesome. 
the brown yeah. coating they put on it and then the the three inch or four inch seam tape yep. and then the peel and stick on top you know one of the reasons why i started using <clears throat> zip system roof sheathing years ago more than a decade ago now was frankly because i liked that my framers could leave me dried in and i didn't have to wait for my roofer to come back and felt it in a couple days later i was susceptible to storms for a few days before those guys came to to wet my house in framing right not a finished house but I really liked that it was taped. And so from an early on uh, adopter, I realized, hey, there's a lot of advantages to having that tape up there. But then once this goes on, this is really the, the Lexus, the Cadillac install, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. And this meets the uh, fortified roof standards. I see they even have the fortified logo on their box. Yes, they? sir, yep, absolutely. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the best product that I've worked with so far. Uh, as far as peel and stick underlayments go. Yeah, it's it, good it, stuff. it adheres really well and um, it's easy to work with. Uh, you don't need cap nails to put it down. Mm -hmm. uh, and it seals around the nail heads as well. That's a really good point. You're not using cap nails, which would just add that many more penetrations to the roof, right? Because you're That's just right. peeling that backer off. So when you're done and before they start roofing, there's basically zero penetrations in the roof at that point. That's right. Yeah, That's we really feel nice. really confident in this roof's ability to withstand a natural disaster That's like a hurricane. Awesome. Impressive. Yeah. Guys, big thanks to Huber for sponsoring today's video. If you need a great builder in this area, I don't know how far out of town you guys work, but uh, if you're in Lafayette, you should definitely contact these guys. Isaac, anybody that uh, you want to mention in your uh, in your organization? Yeah, absolutely. So we're actually doing a joint venture on this house uh, with a buddy of mine that's Tylock Homes. Um, and also, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to EBA, where uh, that's the Energy and Environmental Building Alliance. They've played a big role in our development as a company. And uh, we really were, were lost in the high performance world before we, before we connected with EBA and <clears throat> also found you, Matt. And then also uh, La House. La House is a uh, high performance showcase home at LSU. In Baton Rouge. My alma mater. Your alma mater, yeah. Go Tigers. Where you got your construction management degree, right? That's right, that's right. Yeah, La House has played a uh, major role in our development as a company as well. My, that's my really wife cool. works there. And, uh, and as a side note, this house will be for sale in a few months. So you contact these guys if you're looking for a super well built house that's actually quite affordable here in Lafayette. Yes, absolutely. Y'all give us a shout. Um, we'll build anywhere in the state. Uh, but we are based out of Lafayette. Impressive, man. Guys, really appreciate Huber for sponsoring. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Otherwise, will you help me out at the end? Absolutely, man. We'll see you next time on, on The Build, Build Show. Show.